Okay, so here we are uh, doing some uh, variable rate fungicide off of a prescription that we generated off of a real shot photo taken about a week ago in this field or just prior to flowering. Um, we're spraying proline here and, and what we did is we looked at where the heavier parts of the field were in the lighter areas of the field and we're putting a full rate on the heaviest parts of the field for sclerotinia control. An 80% rate in the lighter areas and in the very light areas we're, we're putting on a, a zero rate or just shutting the, the booms off. So you can see on the map here on the screen the blue lines are where we've already applied. The, the orange is areas that uh, we set not to spray anything on or to shut the booms off. The yellow is uh, the 80% rate and the green is a higher rate. So uh, some of the things that we need to fine tune a little bit is uh, the minimum amount. When we generate the map, uh, we have to set a minimum amount that it'll, it'll put an area into. So that just means if there's a very small area that's uh, not good, it'll just average that in so that the controller isn't trying to do too much or worrying about every little spot in the field. So anyways, we're just we're going to drive down this swath here and, and uh, see the controller working. We're going to have our rate here, the gallons that it's being applied, we're spraying uh, at 10 gallons, the full rate and 8 gallons at the, the lower rate and just see, see what it looks like. So here we go. So we can see here as we get into the green, this is a heavier portion of the field, so we're applying the full rate here. And uh, you know, the key to this is just trying to get the fungicide uh, applied to the areas that need it the most and better allocate the, the cost of this resource that we're using. So you can see on the map here, this area is it's all green. We got 10, 10 gallons an acre there showing on the rate. And uh, in this field, this is uh, the better part, part of the field. So as we drive along down this path, we'll see it start to change rates as we get into different, different areas and, and zones of the field. So uh, the key to doing this type of prescription is we need a need a picture of the field, what's going on in the field this year, every year is a little different depending on uh, moisture and, and crop and environmental conditions. We had some frosts early this spring uh, which caused some, some issues. So here we can see we're coming up to a ditch and on the map here it's showing the yellow. Just had some recent rains here so as we go through this it's going to automatically shut the shut the booms off. You can see there the booms are off as we go through that that core area and then it turns it back on as we get back into into a heavier area here so this way we uh, in the areas of the field that are poor where we're not applying fungicide where where it's not needed and uh, and just trying to lower our risk by being able to stretch our chemical dollars out and not be applying the chemical in the areas that aren't needed. So in this particular area here again obviously there's no canola because it was too wet to seed and we could manually shut this off but with the prescription it automatically shuts off the booms and then as we get into a heavier area here we'll see the booms come back on. Now we got chemical coming out there again. So. Now we're just driving into a little bit lighter area of the field here. As you can see from the cab, the crop is a bit lighter and so it's applying a, a little lower rate and you can see on the screen here on the left hand side there were some patches that were even lighter yet where it's just shutting, shutting the boom right off. And then here again as we go through here it's shutting the boom off through this ditch in that section while it's still, still keeping, keeping it on in the center where there's still enough crop to, to warrant uh, spraying. So this is important to getting out and ground truthing the map and seeing, uh, just matching up the right, right areas. So here now we're coming up onto the hill. 
might have froze a little bit more here. You can see the crop is it's quite a bit thinner and then we're just shutting the booms off totally through this area. Um, we can see the ground, there's not as many leaves in this area. The canola isn't as thick or as tall, so obviously the risk for, for sclerotinia infecting the crop in this area is pretty low. And uh, so the boom just being shut off. And then as we get into other areas that are heavier again, as we can see off to the left here, it's a little bit better. And uh, we can see the booms on on that side, spraying our, our fungicide on. And uh, on this side, it's still off um, where it's a bit lighter and it'll come on here where it gets a bit heavier. So anyways, this is just an example of in the field, running a prescription map. Uh, once things are set up properly, very easy for the operator. He doesn't have to try and guess where he should be spraying or shouldn't or shutting the booms off. And uh, it's controlling the rate from it. And, and based on our experiences in this field and, and many of the other ones that we're doing for ourselves and other clients, um, it's, it's lining up pretty good to what's going on in the field. All right.